Going to find out what's happening. What are you doing? It's probably fucking Vera oh, coming Jesus after Christ. me again. We're not. We're not gonna. Oh God, no! Don't do it. Yeah, do it out there, not in here. You don't want him shitting yourself in your recording room. Uh, no, he did that once already, and I almost died. Will you hurry up and shit yourself and get back in here? No, don't drag it in here. What are you doing? Oh God. All the okay. Josh back. Yeah, he's back. Something happened to Arya, and I'm about to die. Stay with your sham. Yeah, let's do this. It's the weekend. Yeah, right and you know what that <laughs> means? Oh my God! <laughs> Ever it! Time to party town! <laughs> oh shit, Say man! Something. Say something. Hey. Hey, 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 say what you need to say. Which is why it's sort of confusing that Polly why, why are you gonna do that to him? Home with a bunch of old people milling around? If he shits himself, you're not gonna be the one suffering. I am. This good. is not at all what I was expecting from a birthday party for tequila. Polly, what are you talking about? It's a party for a senior tea. Everyone knows Senor T is sweet slang. Oh, street slang for sweet tequila. Sweet street I don't want to hear it for you. Hit me with that sweet slang. I want to hit you with something. No, Polly. <laughs> it's a senior tea party. Hey, friend. What are you doing here? Ugh, I was looking to get trashed, but now that's not gonna happen unless I can steal enough cough drops. Scott, what are you doing here? Oh, I never miss a senior tea party. Of course he doesn't. Bad. Nothing feels sports muscles like tiny cucumber and cream cheese sandwiches. What? And old people always have cool stories to tell. Ugh, this is so boring. I feel like I'm gonna... Come back to live, just so I can die of boredom, which is how I died the first time, too. Oh, man. We certainly don't want that. Time to ring up your craziest, funniest friend to turn this party from a sleepy soiree into a hella lit rager. None of you will ever forget. Except for all the senior citizens, because they're there all the it is. Things, but a party <laughs> you and your friends will never forget. That's what I was waiting for. Hey, 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 Aria. Use your memory. <sighs> Go for Xanthibus. Oh, what? I'm the fun one, eh? <laughs> 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 you know, it's gonna be negative. Oh, it just hurts. Pick Zanthipple. That's oh, fine God. Just pick you want Xanthipple? Pick her. I mean, yeah. I could totally lit it up. You call them fibbles, and they walk away, and before the phone call is yeah. even finished, they walk in before Well, the my phone. fun was high enough to pull it off anyway. Wow, do you live, like, super close, or have you just gotten super good at teleporting? Oh, shit, screams the little old lady. Zanthipple is here! Turn Why does everybody lady. have trouble? Her dentures must have come loose. Turn down for what? An ancient man in a wheelchair throws a light switch, and the overhead lights go from fluorescent to flashing bright primary colors as a disco ball dropped from and the ceiling. And the disco ball came down. <laughs> what the hell, though? Oh, yeah. Zinfu always drops by Scott. Time to <laughs> Scott. Senor T. Not you, too. An elderly woman reaches into a cupboard and pulls out an enormous bottle of tequila. But why? <laughs> I knew it! Scott, why didn't you say anything before? Uh, I was just confused. I thought you said you were bored, but the senior tea party before the senior tea party is super, super fun. Aye. So then I assumed you said, I'm a bored, so I'm trying to figure out if you're a skateboard, <sighs> or a surfboard, or a cheeseboard. Uh, forget I asked. Anyway, all the old yep, people are really Vera, I have your thoughts exactly. And have their phone number. And your potential love interests are really impressed that you impress the old people. 
It was a great day of fun, tea, and senor tea. You're drunk, but also you're fancy sophisticated, and you've gained two smarts and one bullet. Oh yeah, virtual high five, Aria. Fuck everybody. Cause yeah. pickles ain't nothing but a jar party. Fuck the game. <laughs> Let's trade places. Everybody chooses a movie. Shawshank Redemption. Why you gotta go there? Greatest movie ever. Uh, The Boy and the Beast. Shawshank Redemption. That's a Fifth game. Element. Ooh. Player order is decided based on how hard it would be to explain the selected movie to an old person. <laughs> oh my god! It's element. Boy. <laughs> the Boy and the Beast is an anime, though. No, I, well, I think, uh, I think the plot isn't as crazy as Fifth They element. live the Shawshank Redemption, so that'd be super easy Fifth for Fifth Element, the freaking main villain and the main character never meet. They I, don't even know they exist. I say, I say Fifth Element. Boy yeah. And the Beast, and I'm laughing. Try explaining sci-fi to them ain't gonna happen at all, <laughs> whether it's animated or real. It's blues. Aria! To the rave tree! Fine, just cut me off! Oh, fuck you, <laughs> <all> my shit. <laughs> that day during recess, you started a half hour later to go full crazy for the 20th time! Oh, here it comes. You're casually chatting with Wanda. What? All magical what? <laughs> no, no. You point you them ass them. cheeks into the corner. Yeah, hilarious story. What Don't you fucking dare. Camp. You dared. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. You know which one. The one involving the beast. I will take this Sharpie and I will draw you a new asshole. Don't you fucking dare. And the mystery of the Goblin King. I ripped a real bad one. Jesus. Oh my. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or so burst into hysterical laughter. <laughs> <laughs> you turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and it turns into plus two fun. Wow, I wish I could have plus two fun right now. Later, you see Veer cackling to herself in the hallway, which is whatever, but you might as well find out why. That would be the opposite. I would run the other way. Just practicing my prom queen acceptance speech in my mind. It's not like the title bears any meaning whatsoever. Of course, and I really do consider the whole thing way beneath me. However, considering how much meaning other girls put on it, I can't risk some uppity bitch thinking she's better than I am. Plus, it's not a bad branding either. Bad branding. Oh, bad branding. Listen, shit stain narrator. Oh, there's a shit stain on your chair. I day. could see using a victory <laughs> to start a line of successful prom queen accessories. Granted, oh, guaranteed to get you <laughs> the win. I am in chemical warfare right now, and my brain is dead <laughs> and dying. Mm, Perfect prom shoes, the right makeup, fancy knife to take out your opponents. Speaking of which, I assume this goes without saying, but I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual to ensure my win. Yeah, I'll cut you open. I still haven't found the exact details yet, but I'm optimistic that at least some of the items will be found in the shop. Like a bloody tampon? <laughs> Probably. The only question is, where exactly can I find the details for a proper blood ritual? These are your choices, Aria. Why don't we ask Coven? They're witches. They should know all about blood magic. Or literally just search the internet like fucking Google it. Like that's literally <laughs> what it's there for. We were going to go to the coven. Of course you would. Of course. I knew those basic bitches would come in handy one day. Actually, I really didn't. I always thought they were pretty useless. But I never made to be... But I'm never mad to be... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> to be proven wrong when it serves me. Oh. <laughs> Basic English is not my forte. Summoning seminar, you call forth the coven. Please don't. Oh, there they are. What 
is it now? Is there some emergency? Is the world in need of saving? Yes, my nostrils. <laughs> of course not. Well, not that dear. <laughs> the world is the worst. Why would I ever want to save it? No, I just want to be prom queen. And I need some blood magic to guarantee my victory. And I figured you three could do something productive for once. Ouch. Under no circumstances will we be revealing any magical secrets to help a petty little brat become prom queen. Listen here, you bitch. Say that to me outside. We are outside by the rave tree. <laughs> That's besides the point. I genuinely cannot think of a more frivolous use of blood magic than this egotistical little side quest. Every time I think the students of this school could not be any more ludicrous. Says the hot topic wannabe. Yeah, yeah, when I need your opinion, I'll ask for it. You're not the one who's call or who called us here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of help you've been. Now, get out of my sight before I use my sight to turn you to stone. Vera turns to your sorry ass. Bum bum bum. Um, hi. Oh, that includes you. Unless... Oh, shit. I'll find the ingredients myself. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, useless. You lose two oh, smarts and one womp, charm. Womp, oh womp. shit! <laughs> Take that, sir. Hmm. Man. I could use a little bit more creativity. <laughs> Suck it, stink boy. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. Well, ouch. Womp womp. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. Oh, what the balls! <laughs> but afterwards, womp, while talking womp. to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through the music. Oh no. You start singing. <laughs> no. And suddenly, everyone else joins you in a kick ass musical never! Hell yeah, Disney Channel ain't got shit on me. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. Fuck yeah, I'm a bard, bitches. You gain two creativity. The You're wondering if anyone's going to try to punch the sun anytime <laughs> soon when suddenly... Oh, butt you. sauce. You sun punch helping motherfucker. Oh yeah, that's right. I did say something about that, didn't I? <laughs> you ready to help me punch the sun? Oh, at least he's dressed for it. <laughs> Heck yeah! It's what you were born to do. Or something. How could that have come back to bite me in the ass any harder? So, I did some research. Oh, fuck. It turns out that the sun is pretty fucking far from Earth. Oh, God, he can read. When did he learn that? <laughs> Who would ever guess the shocking revelation? I know! In fact, it seems like the sun is closer to space than Earth. Oh, please don't say so it. So to get there, we're gonna need a... They say sheep, uh, um, The only question no. is, where did one of those things? Well, he didn't say what I thought he was gonna say. I'm just gonna punch space then. <laughs> These are your choices. Go to that most authoritative of all resources, WikiHow. Just check out the school spaceship. I mean, what kind of high school would we be if we didn't have our own regulated high school spaceship? A very bad spaceship, less one that the least. <laughs> The school has a spaceship? I fucking want to see the spaceship. At this point, nothing can hurt. Oh shit! Bam! Spaceships are real things! Oh fuck, man. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! <laughs> I thought a spaceship was when you root for two pop culture icons to fucking near Earth orbit. <laughs> If only, Damien, if only. Why the fuck does our school have a spaceship? Why are you asking me? <laughs> really, Damien? Trying to apply logic to spooky high. Oh, thank you, narrator. The first sensible thing you fucking said. Mike drop. You should know better by now. You just dropped your mic. Space Force. And our students really love to check it out. 
Usually they don't let me do anything fun. It's because you either set it on fire or you break it. <laughs> or fuck it. Oh yeah, there's that too. There are such double standards. By burning down the library, it's disrespect. <laughs> oh no, come on! <laughs> but if I masturbated it, that's disrespectful too. Oh, why? Both of the things that were said are there. <laughs> you just can't win. That may be true, but it turned out the process of checking out a spaceship is shockingly, disturbingly easy. You just ask for your permission. I want to cry. Or the signature of Damien's dad, resubmit it, and are instantly given access. Holy fuck, that was easy. Please don't masturbate in it. Almost upsetting himself. <laughs> just think what would happen if that power got to the wrong hands. My masturbating hands. Oh, God. Thank God we're just using it to punch the motherfucking thought in the face. You! I don't want to do this anymore. You did it. You got a spaceship. This is gonna be lit. I got more fire. shit! Because you're punching the sun. You gain plus two fun and plus one smut. How the hell? Pickles! Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, sure. Pull them all up again. Uh, well, you can't go to creativity. That was mine. Yeah, that's what I was gonna go for. <laughs> right, uh, your uh, money is kind of low, man. You I'm should. Let's Whoa, look at money bucks over here. Let's go to Boldness. Let's go to Shack and come back. That's a bathroom. <laughs> that day that you visit the bathroom is to take a number two. That's a penis. Sure. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. The thing is, you make one of the full scissors of your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Gross. <laughs> Looks like we'll need that pill of cillin. You get hit plus two. <laughs> and probably plus one staphylococcus with a slight chance of plus one STD. You got a stid. I got four. Clap on. Clap oh, off. Oh no. You hear an almost dog like whimper and go to see what sort of poor animal is in pain. Oh, please be Scott. The answer is Scott. <laughs> to the surprise of none, who is cross eyed with concentration. He yelps and snaps out of it, or snaps it off. One of the two. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh, bro. Thank goodness you're here. I was trying to think all by myself, and it was really hard, you know? See, I know how I'm best at exercising. I'm the exercise master. Uh, the exercise lord. Uh, the exorcist. He doesn't hurt as much as Damien does. <laughs> but I've never tried exercising my brain. In a way. The brain is almost part of the body, too, you know? Never mind. <laughs> it's sort of a three in one. Because it'll make me better what? at exorcism, and being smarter will keep me from getting bad grades and kicked out of sports team. But well, I. Huh? That wasn't three things <laughs> or one thing, but you still have some ideas. Pickles! Books are like weights for your brain, and heavier weights are better, so you just need to lift really heavy books. Or, let's brainstorm, by which I mean, let's make a literal, actual storm inside your brain. Brainstorm. He wants to turn his uh, brain oh. into a smoothie. A storm? In my brain? That's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Not so creative. Here's my water bottle. Pour some water in my Pour head. some water <laughs> on me. You happily oblige, now that your plan is guaranteed to work. Oh, fuck. And this actively plugged his surge cord will make for the perfect lighting. lightning. <laughs> You're gonna strip kill Scott. Cord. Strip cord, not strife. No, I said strip. He said strife. No, I said strip. I will play it back yeah, later. Go for it. Scott takes a literal actual sparking strip. <laughs> strip <laughs> 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 Stripped wire and sticks into his water filled ear. Oh, fuck. You lunge, but it's too late to stop him. Oh, God. And Scott's dead. Scott's ear crackles, <laughs> and then catches fire! He's dead. If Damien Scott were shows human, up. he would certainly be dead. But with his werewolf strength, his endurance as a star athlete, he's shockingly unharmed, other than his singed ear. That makes sense. Oh God, he's God. numb from the head down. And the look of utter betrayal on his face. <sighs> you hurt the puppy boy. I don't feel any smarter. In fact, I feel pretty dumb for this 
You let me down, bro. You let me way, way down. Oh, look at him. This is where it all goes wrong again. Look no! at him. You're going to be all alone again. <laughs> Why would you ever tell someone who feels he's a smart to create lightning in his head? <laughs> yeah, jackass. You're the little worst. And you're lucky the ASPCA doesn't cart you off for animal abuse. You lose three <laughs> and one creativity. You don't have any creativity to begin with. Let's trade places. Everybody choose it as an object. Potato. Does that mean I win? Sure. Fungus covered socks. What the? F <gasps> what is wrong with you? I don't know. I was just gonna say something normal like a T-shirt, and you have to go fucking weird. I just said a potato. Fungal socks. <laughs> oh, you're disgusting. Click the challenge. You're going with a T-shirt then? Sure. Player order is decided based on how good the selected object would be as your only weapon in a battle royale situation. Fungus socks, thank you. For the um, no. Yes, you get the No. Six. Oh my god, you're dumb with people. Potatoes. No. People have allergies to starch. No. Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. I think it's random. <laughs> ha! Oh, that's second. It's fine with me. Week two, noon. And we will pick this up <gasps> next time. The prince. The prince is here. Oh, God, the weeaboo prince. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I need Scott. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have electrocuted him, dumbass. I just, I just thought it'd be a cool idea. Like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Like, so now they'd be like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs>